Well, hello, we are back for a gaming solo. It's been a while, but we are here doing an unbagging today. Um, I've said in a previous sort of video, I'm not going to be trying to do fancy pantsy reviews. I'm just going to go for it. Um, so this is a game. I haven't played it in a long time, so we're all jumping in relatively fresh because even when I did have a chance to play it, I didn't do that much with it. But this is Tilt by Think Fun. So this is the bag, it comes with the bags, I've complained about these before, I find them a bit... Yeah, not the most amazing way because it doesn't prop, but you get Tilt, Teetering Logic Maze. Contents, a board, two green ones, four white ones, six square ones, a doodad that looks like that, 40 whatever those are, and one instructions, think fun, blah blah blah, that's the company that make it. Let's have a look. This is the problem with, the, with these bags already, is that they're annoying. So we should have these things. Boing! We can go over there. Right, so what have we got? We have a medium signal on the camera already. That's fine, we'll roll with it. I can always record later. Right, so we have, this is the weird doodad, what that does, that's it's there, that's it's there, and then you have a slippy slidey board. Slip, slap, slippy slap away. That's a reference to Monty Python there for you. And we've got these doodads. So these ones have little squares in them. Clip it in and they don't go anywhere. These ones are weighted so that when you put them on, when you lean the board, they slide with it. And then they'll like get blocked off by that doodad and then slide. So that's what they're. And you've got two green ones and four white ones. So that's those. Then you've got a card bunch of challenge cards and here will be the instructions as well I assume so yeah I only got to like beginner challenge six with these so let's get these tidied through uh, six five four three two one and that thing that's a bunch of solutions for the last one it's five four three Ooh, two Spanish. That's two. And one. And then flip them over to the correct side. Oh, burn! Because of the way they are. Fantastic. Three, two, one. And then six ones in there. There we are. Organising those off camera. Hooray! Right. So you got a bunch of these. And then we have the instructions. Let's have a look at these. Okay, so tilt, bunch of stuff. Get the green slider through the exit. Get the green sliders through the exit hole in the centre of the game board whilst leaving the blue sliders. All oh, right, I would have called them white, but no, I suppose they're bluish. Um, whilst leaving the blue sliders on the grid, place the game grader on the game base. Select the challenge card. Set up the pieces shown on the challenge card. Three kinds of pieces. Square stopper, stay anchor, do, um, second blue slider, slide around the grid, round green slider, slide across the grid. Move the by tilting the game on the grid. On each move, all sliders must move downhill as far as they can go. So when you move the board, you make sure everything's shimmied all the way it can. When all the green sliders and none of the blue sliders have fallen through the exit hole, you win. In a valid saluda, a slider must never through fall through the exit hole. In this, in the example below, moving down will not lead to a valid solution because the blue slider will fall through the hole along with the green slider. Okay. Valid solutions. Bloop. 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 Okay, fine. Down, up, right, right, yeah. And that's just talking about the doodad. Need a hint. Trapped. About the inventor. Alright, fine. Yeah, there's hints on the back and whatnot. Right, fine. Okay. So let's set up the first one, shall we? This is card one. So we want that one there. And this one here. And this. I could have just put the board around, can I? Never mind. One of these here. So that's what we start with. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. 
Yay, that's fairly easy. Let's do another one. Number two. So I'll take that out, take that out, put that there, put that there, put that there. Let's try this out. If I'm spoiling this for anyone, I do apologise. I'm just showing how the game plays. These are only the beginners ones, so they're not exactly difficult. You can figure them out fairly quickly. Let's have a look. See, if you do want my opinion, we'll jump jump to the end a bit. Um, so let's try this one out. Boop. Go on. Boop. It's going to be a full slidey roundy one. So now I've managed to get them locked away from each other. Am I just going to have to rotate around the board like three times here? I think I am, because look, if I do that now, I can then do that, which gets me a solve. So yeah, it's sort of moving around to get a juncture on things. So let's do another one, stuff it. Number three. Oh, that has two to get in. Oh, tricky. So we want that there. We want there, we want that there, we want that there, and that there. Okay, cool, right, so that's the board set up. Let's do this. This is where it will start getting more interesting. That's literally done nothing, hasn't it? Yeah, I think I've made, made a mess of that. Oh no, because I can get one in. Can I now get the other one in? Yeah, I can. There we go, that wasn't so bad. I don't know whether that was the right solution or not, but it was certainly a solution, so that will do. You can actually look and I'll show you how to do it. Doop, 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 doop. So, there we go. I don't really know, didn't pay that much attention to what I actually did. Oh, that's quite cool. Look at that. So, take those off. Put that there. Green in each corner. And green, blue. I keep calling that a white one because it's supposed to be blue. I don't, don't care that much. Right. So looks like we're wanting to balance things on that. I'm going to do this, I think. Oh, now that's done that. Okay, well, that's fine. I've got one in at the moment. So now I need to reverse that somehow. There we go. That's that. That was quite clever. I'm quite enjoying this. I don't know. I, I, I hope it makes for... Ooh. Now that'll be interesting. Let's do that. So flip that out. That wants to go there. And I want there. 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 Now obviously the issue here is that although I could slant this down and get that green straight in, that blue falls straight in as well. And knackers up the solution so not a valid move right let's try that okay uh nope no wait a minute now hang on darling <laughs> that was really clever it only made it right one two three but yeah, no, that was really cool. I like that. That was really quite clever. Okay, so what's next? Oh, six. So this is us actually caught up with where I'd actually got on it before. So if you'd have been wondering how far, because because that was where the cards had been laid out to. So I'd literally only got this far. You know, I've pulled this out, had a quick play with it, gone, all right, yeah, that's cool, and then put it on a shelf and not had a chance to play with it because of being, because of busy with life sort of nonsense. But, I said that, sitting playing with this now has been rather fun. I should really sit and watch some stupid TV and do things like this. Problem is, though, is that seeing as I've got play guitar, 
Have I moved this over slightly? I think I have. Let's square that up again. Something's been moved. Because I play guitar and do magic as well. I'm always, I've am always i always got something to be fiddling with. So these have sort of got kicked to the wayside a little bit. Right. Um, I think I want that one on the other side. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. That. Oh no, I might not. Nope. So I'm now just repeating myself. Hmm. Oh no, wait. Aha! There we go. Nicely done. I think there's a certain amount of, yeah, you will sort of restart things, but I think that's almost necessary in the solution. Might not be the perfect solution, but you sort, you know, for like the minimum moves, but you certainly, you can sort of see what where things are going. So, number seven. So I've officially caught up with myself now. Like, this is me going, moving on one. Let's do this. Actually, you know what? Stuff it, let's take a jump. So those are the beginners ones to give you an idea of what the, the game's like. Yeah, I'm definitely kicking this over, aren't I? Oh well, I'm sliding something about. Let's have a look at one of the harder ones, shall we? Let's have a look at the first of the intermediates. That sounds like a good idea. First of the intermediates, number eleven, looks something like that. Not that hard. This might be one of those ones that although it gets more complicated, you don't See where you can't, you know, that that it stays fairly logical because at the end of the day, sliding it about should get you there one way or another. But then again, with things like the gaps here, I can see sliding it about getting you in trouble. So let's give this a go. So the first is also because you've got to let everything slide exactly where you want it to. I mean, now have I broken it? Is the question. Can I do anything else? No, because that's just going to lead them to there. If you're wondering why I feel so stupid there, because I've got the arm of the camera stand pointing right in my mouth, so if I lean forward... No, that's definitely all I can do there. So... Am I able to cheat this? I think I can cheat it. I think that's what I've got to do. Yeah. So... I might, no, I can do that, and yeah, I can do that, there, so that's not too bad, right, so that was the first of the intermediates, let's have another go, let's have a quick look at the next one, oh no, wait a minute, because I thought it was intermediate, no, there's a medium, there's intermediate, advanced and expert, let's do an advanced, let's see if we can bust an advanced up. That's what it looks like. So we want. Just take those. And that's it, but we want one of those there. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah. Right. Let's do that. Is that what I want to do first? That does just reset it. Well, that resets it, technically. Because I suppose I could do that first, which gets me that one in straight away. Right, that's an illegal move. That's an illegal move. Ah, I've broken it. Well, that's good. That's nice to see that, that, that it is, you can do that. I was wondering when that was going to happen. When you become, uh, that, that you make the moves, every move an illegal move and sort of checkmate yourself, for want of a better phrase. Uh, I've set that up wrong, hang on. That wants to be there, that wants to be there, that wants to be there. So, that has to be my first move then. Uh... But that breaks me. So let's start again. So, ah, but I could do that. That moves him down. But that breaks me as well. Because now if I slide it that way, that's going to go straight in. And if I go 
that way that slides straight in and I break myself. Okay, so I'm breaking everything. Right, let's reset again. That's reset. So that's first move. Can you kick that out of the way? Does that make any difference? Let's hook him behind there for now. Boom. I feel quite smug about that, actually. It's always nice when a game makes you feel smug, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so that was an advance. Let's try an expert, and then we'll call it a day for this video, I think. I think I've kind of... I think I've shown enough for anyone wanting to... Watching this as a review, to see whether they like it or not. To have made up their mind whether the sort of... The idea of the puzzle is a good idea or not. Let's try. This is the first of the experts. It was the first of the advanced and the intermediates I did, and a handful of the beginners. The beginners tend to be quite easy and just be getting you in the, in the into the idea of things anyway, so I don't mind sort of showing off a bunch of those, because yeah, they're not they're not going to show anyone a big struggle. The other thing is, is if you watch this before, you know, a couple of weeks, like before you buy the thing or anything, you'll have forgotten what I've been doing. I've been looking for those and they're in the pots. There we are. If you be yeah, if you buy it, if you've not bought the game and you're watching this to see if you like it or not, you'll have forgotten the solutions by the time you actually buy it anyway, because it's not you who's actually playing with it. Um, unless you've got an incredibly good memory. Right, so this is the first of the experts. Let's see what this is like. Uh, right, yeah, it's already quite interesting. So there's a few different things I can do to start off with. Let's just start moving it. Let's put those two together. No, I don't want to do that. Like that. Let's try that. Stuff it. Let's give that. No, that's got them together. Hmm. Nah. Nope, 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 nope. That's not how you do it. That's not the way to do it. Let's try something different. So it's taking a big jump all of a sudden. This is definitely going to be more tricky. There's a lot more things. But you'll, as always, because I've jumped difficulties, I've missed a lot of sort of the training, for want of a better thing, that I've suddenly up against something where usually I'd have seen what's going to be coming up. That makes sense. Well, that's one in. So that's a good start. I'll put that in there. I'm not sure whether I've Ah, no, I've locked him in now. There's no physical way to get him out. Right, okay. So, one down, but one's a failure. Never mind. Ooh. Right, one more try. Let's see if I can figure this out. So, I can't even remember what I did last time. It was that. Yeah, that right. Hmm. That's better. Now that's going to lock me in, isn't it? If I slide that over, one will drop in, and one... no, because I can do that and then jump it straight back over. Okay. Bouncing the little piece about. Ha 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 ha! I did it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think I was going to get that one in time. So that was uh, that was the first of the X part. That was tricky, but I think just 
looking at what you can do, I think it's definitely one of these games, although you can sort of complete it in a specific amount of moves, a certain amount of sort of shuffling it about and, and, and sort of looking logically at what you're doing whilst you're doing it works. So that, I think, is a fairly good demonstration of Tilt. We've been 20 minutes playing about with it, so yeah. I like this. I think, um, looking at the game design-wise, this is really fun. Um, I like that, you know, it's a movie thing with slidey things. Yeah, and you can wee! That's, it's, so it's fun to play with. It's very tactile. It's not dry and boring. It's, it's a fun, tactile, slidey game. It makes you think a lot, which is always good. The thought, you know, the thought process is nice, but at the same time, you can just do it. It's quite absent at the same time that you can just sort of sit and slide it. You could probably watch telly and do this quite easily, and you're not gonna, you know, you 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 know, it's quite zen. Um, like product-wise, this it's all pretty good. Um, I've the cards are nicely printed. Um, the, it's all really high quality plastic, the weights in these are nice. I have only two minor complaints I could really make about the product if I wanted to, like smacking the thing. Um, and that's this, I can see why they've done it like this, that they've just done it on a thing that sits on a thing, but it does, as you've probably seen in the video, you end up just doing this a bit with it, because it's just plonked on. There are little bevels in it so that when you push it in it does lock in and if you're sort of, if you're sensible with it and slow yeah you can fit with those and it doesn't matter that much it's just a sort of product quality thing that it feels a little bit yeah <laughs> not to make my point it's just a little bit flippy floppy um, and as always it comes in one of these little travel bag things which I personally don't care for. I think the only thing, I, other thing, I can, I like, there are some of the games for these where you can have your um, card like clipped on somewhere or visualized underneath the board or something. You don't really need it. It just say, it's nice to have it tidy. Hoppers was a game they did like, which was from my first review where it was very nice. Everything was quite tidy with that. Um, and there's some games where, yeah, you get the slip in, which is really good because, yeah, it just saves this, really, all this mess everywhere. Um, because, like, it's a travel bag. It's for when you're on the plane or something. But if you're going to make this amount of mess playing the game with slidey bits, you know, these go back in the bag rather than having a little clip drop, you know. Why not have this be bigger and snap if this was bigger, this could clip onto the bottom. You could have the bits in and then clip it out, flip it over. This is hollow. We could, why not have this board pop off and have the bits lay in it? Yeah, you could fit a deck of cards in that corner and then have the bits. That would be nice. And then you have a complete enclosed doodad. Um, but that's a minor niggle. That's just a thing think fun do. I've mooed about it before. I'm not going to go into it anymore. Apart from that, yeah, cards are nice quality. All these pieces are nicely weighted and good quality. Nice high quality plastic. So yeah, really nice game um, overall. Um, that was really fun. I had had a lot of fun doing this video. So yeah, you can you'll be able to see through me playing with it whether the logic of it and the the way it plays is to your taste or not so thanks for watching guys as always it's the old likey subscribey sherry with friendies nonsense um if you care and yeah thank you very much i'll see you next time uh, on gaming solo